Stem cell therapy was once thought to be the storyline of science fiction fantasy, but now some doctors are claiming it's curing, not just relieving disease and degeneration. When you start talking about stem cell therapy, in the orthopedic and pain management world, the indications for regenerative medicine are tremendous. This would include degenerative arthritis uh, of really any extremity, along with the spine, rheumatoid arthritis, and the things that are necessary to repair and regenerate damaged uh, tissue, such as cartilage, tendon, ligament, and the like. And they said, oh my goodness, you have vascular peripheral artery disease. They would have to take my left leg off, and I, I'm asking them, how far do you take a left leg off, I mean, a leg off? And they said it would probably be right below the knee. I do some real extreme, let's say, type of sports stuff. I was going to Sundong K. There's only been like under 300 people in the world that have been there. So my knee was my first concern. They told me I had a 60% tear in my meniscus and my MRI. So you don't want to go in there with a bad knee. I've been suffering with my back for the last three years as far as, you know, painful. I mean, it's been stiff for many, many years. My three herniated discs, and they're, one of them at least is, is severely degenerated. So I did a lot of research and I realized that a lot of the athletes were going to Germany and doing a lot of the stem cell treatments. Two years ago, I had a heart attack. My body started to get weaker and the knees on down. I found out through stem cells from my stepson. And he says, you're gonna be a guinea pig. <laughs> Stem cell therapy and the brand new field of regenerative medicine are still in the earliest research stages compared to other branches of traditional Western medicine. So regenerative medicine is the use and study of cells and therapies that come from tissues that we use as graft to try to help regenerate and heal damaged or degenerative tissue in trying to promote the tissue's normal function. Regenerative medicine is a field that overlaps with the stem cell biology field and the idea is that there are many diseases and injuries which will cause degeneration or loss of cells within a tissue. And the entire goal of regenerative medicine is to be able to harness stem cells or other cells in the body to convince those tissues to regenerate or rebuild or repopulate themselves. I think in about five to ten years, regenerative medicine will actually be the norm. Um, for primary treatment for a lot of ailments, not just sports related or connective tissue related, but people who have heart disease, people who have Parkinson's. I think patients will benefit from stem cell therapy across the board and I think in five to ten years we're going to see this as a primary mode of treatment. As surgeons we look at medications, injections, if that fails don't come back or have surgery. So now we have that in between. Now you have the opportunity of treating your own body with your own body's products. It's absolutely incredible. We're seeing, even in patients with significant pathology, we're seeing a reduction in their pain and an improvement in their level of disability. And that's very, very promising. What we're doing in regenerative medicine is truly the tip of the iceberg. I'm excited about the fact that the paradigm is shifting away from just treating symptoms to actually helping people heal themselves. Injecting these unique stem cells into humans with degenerative disease or injuries to affect tissue repair is most definitely promising. When I would jog, I thought maybe I had not stretched enough or had pulled a muscle to the point that I could not walk like maybe 10 feet. And so I decided that I'd better seek out some medical care. And they said, oh my goodness, you have vascular peripheral artery disease. So in peripheral artery disease or critical limb ischemia, what happens is that the main arteries coming down to feed blood into the foot get blocked. And so the blood uh, cannot get down there and the tissue starts to die. There's incredible pain, the, the nerves are dying. Since you have, I guess, three main arteries going down your leg and two of them are completely clogged, they would have to take my left leg off. I did the stem cell and I've been able to walk, jog, bicycle, um, skydive, but it's just been making a tremendous difference in my life. Make a long story short, so they give me an MRI on my knee, and from there they told me I had a 60% tear in my meniscus and my MRI. I'm 61 years old, so you're, you're, if you go out and play hard, your body's going to end up feeling it. 
Now, I was also going to Vietnam. I do some real extreme, let's say, type of sports stuff. And I was all set to do the surgery. I was set the next morning to do the surgery. We end up deciding that we're going to put stem cells in my knee. So the stem cells have been incredible. And then other injections I've done, PRP, which is the spinning of the blood with the stem cells. And I would say on the knee, they worked amazing. Platelet-rich plasma, otherwise known as PRP, is a form of regenerative medicine treatment where we take someone's blood from a peripheral blood draw and we spin it and we isolate the platelets. Those platelets contain growth factors that when re-injected into a damaged tissue organ can help promote healing almost tenfold and try to regenerate healthy tissue. And whatever it does, it does its thing. So the knee did really well. A lot of professional athletes who need to get back to their game quick are turning to stem cell therapy to help promote healing. So even patients who've had um, surgeries or athletes who don't want to have surgery or don't necessarily need it are using stem cells to help get them back in the game faster and help promote healing for whatever injury that they've had. You know, my shoulder was a situation where I've had two surgeries, uh, meniscus, I mean uh, labrum tear, rotator cuff tears, had to have that done twice. So, you know, I heard about this situation and said, wow, I, uh, let me take a chance and see if, that, see if it helps. So when I have patients that come to me, they say, oh, I heard such and such who is a professional athlete has had this treatment. Can you tell me about it? Would I be a good candidate? And so I have a lot of patients that come to me because they've seen these professional athletes on the news have had stem cell therapies. Start looking at sports injuries, it's a very different paradigm than what we did in the past, which was steroid injections and things that really didn't change the course of the condition. Or you can have a surgery where it may have some risk associated with it and a six, nine month rehab period. Why not have a regenerative medicine procedure? It's outpatient, it's really, really, really low risk. It can shorten the healing time by a half two-thirds maybe, and get you back on the field into recreational activities much faster. I've had oh, multiple um, chiropractic treatments. I've had the same as far as acupuncture, massage. I had uh, three epidurals, but um, the, the maximum benefit that I received of all the treatment was about three weeks of relief. When I was told about the stem cells, and the opportunity to possibly regrow the area between the discs. I was there <laughs> in a heartbeat. I didn't ask questions. Two years ago, I had a heart attack. And that was my major concern of what I had, you know, of pain and stuff. They took the stem cells out and then injected that into my arm, in my blood vein. And all of a sudden, within 12 to 14 hours, the pain in my legs was gone, and the pain in my, around my chest area where my heart was, was gone. It's just phenomenal. So it's kind of, it's kind of neat. <laughs> so overall, it's an extremely promising procedure using stem cells combined with other cells sometimes with regard to try to improve function to regenerate damaged tissue making stem cells really the most promising uh, adventure in modern medicine. Now you have the opportunity of treating your own body with your own body's products. It's absolutely incredible. My success rate is well over 95%. And that 5% really is a person who absolutely will not try any surgery and will give this a shot knowing that they're not going to be fully better. So. 95% and the results have been incredible. Well right now there are dozens of clinical trials going on um, regarding stem cell therapy and I think in the next five to ten years the FDA will adapt and adopt stem cell treatment as a primary mode of therapy because it carries less risk than surgeries and has been shown to have success with repairing tissue, repairing organs and patients across the country have had very good success with stem cell therapy. The final answers will be resolved as we look into the future and see how patients do over a significant period of time. And of course, that's what we're all hoping for and we're all studying now in various uh, forums across the country.
Obviously, if we have things that we can use that will change the course of their disease and perhaps even heal them, it's good to get this into the mainstream as quickly as possible. I often think about if we are able with regenerative medicine to cure Parkinson's and uh, stop cancer, will everybody live to 120? And so that's my vision for the future. Can, can we cure every ailment that's uh, hurting and killing people? And uh, then what does society do? <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> do we have room and resources? <laughs> We're really at the cusp of a, of a brave new world. <laughs> so when it comes to the stem cell therapies, it's an amazing new option that we have available to our clients and patients. Basically, what you're talking about is extremely low risk and very high benefit procedures. Unbelievably low risk compared to an interventional surgery uh, or invasive procedure. For now, as stem cell science continues to advance, stem cell therapy continues to be debated. Experts are telling us it has the potential to cure ailments previously not thought possible. How far and how fast the treatment goes seems to depend on the doctors. In Beverly Hills, I'm Barbara Sharp.